Let's be completely honest with each other here for a second, okay? Computers are getting insanely expensive, and you and I need to have a heart to heart on whether or not buying an expensive computer is actually going to bring you more happiness and satisfaction in your day to day life. Yesterday, as I was laying in bed about to go to sleep, I decided to check Amazon to see if the graphics card that I've been keeping my eye on had gone down in price. It had. I was completely amazed to see that the ROG Strix edition of the 3080 12GB had dropped below $800 for the first time in the history of the card. And in that moment, I wanted to click the order button so badly and finally give my 8 year old graphics card the retirement that it deserves. But I didn't. You may be asking, why? Why? Well, to be completely honest with you, in that moment, I was just too tired to spend $800 on anything. So I rolled over and went to sleep with sweet dreams of spending my money on that graphics card the next day. But when the next morning rolled around, I got out of bed, went straight to Amazon, and lo and behold, the card had sold out. I'm not really sure that I would have ever actually been able to pull the trigger on an $800 graphics card, but now I won't get the chance for a while. So that led me to ask myself, do I really need to spend $800 on a graphics card? Doesn't my GTX 970 do the job that I need it to do? Would a new expensive graphics card make me happy or would it just make me regret spending the money that I could have saved? So many questions and they'll all have different answers for different people. So I'm going to walk you, the viewer, through those questions and how to find the answers for yourself. So the first and most important question that you should be asking yourself is, does my current setup do what I need it to do with reasonable results. And what I mean by that is does your current setup run the games and programs that you want it to run at a reasonable frame rate and response time that's enjoyable to experience? Personally for me, an enjoyable experience is anything above 60 FPS and loading times that I don't notice. Anything below that is just not for me anymore. I did my time playing Minecraft at 24 FPS on my mom's laptop when I was a kid, and I don't ever want to have to go through that again. So if the answer to that first question of does my current setup do what I need it to do with reasonable results is yes, then you probably don't need a new graphics card, or at least not a new really expensive one that's going to make you regret spending the money on it. But if the answer to that question is no, then you can continue to question two. The second question that you need to ask yourself is do I have the financial means necessary to purchase an expensive computer? For most people, that means that about 30% of your yearly income can be spent on entertainment. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that most people aren't going to spend the entire 30% of their entertainment budget on just a single computer, so we're going to knock that down by half and we're going to call it 15%. If 15% of your yearly income is enough to build a really nice computer, do it. Now, the third and final question that you need to ask yourself before purchasing an expensive computer is one that's going to be pretty deep and it might take you a little bit of time to find an answer to. And it is, will an upgrade to my computer even make me happy? Or will I just feel regret about how much money I spent to upgrade? Now this is a really loaded question because a lot of people spend their entire lives looking for something that makes them happy. So it's really hard to know whether or not a material possession like a computer is going to bring you more happiness and fulfillment. Now in my experience, it was never the computer itself that made me happy. It wasn't the frame rates, it wasn't the loading times or anything like that. It was the experiences and enjoyment that I was able to get by playing games with my friends, sometimes until three o'clock in the morning, just laughing our heads off, having a great time. And sometimes it was just the fulfillment that I was able to gain by recording and editing a YouTube video and posting it and it being my best performing video yet. It turns out that most of the time, it's not the material possession that's going to make your life better. It is simply a means of achieving those experiences that create lasting memories. So if you're considering spending more money on a PC than you're comfortable with spending, then you need to take a moment and seriously think about what actually brings you happiness and fulfillment. Then once you figure that thing out, you need to find out the cheapest way to obtain the tools that will allow you to create that happiness. It might take considering a 3060 Ti instead of a 3080. Both will definitely get the job done, but one's going to cost you twice as much. And the same can be said about many PC components, including processors. A basic CPU like a 5600X is going to get the job done for the average consumer and is way, way cheaper than a 5900X. Now, all of those crazy price differences within component generations are only going to get worse as more generations release. So if you want to learn about the new Ryzen 7000 series and whether or not it's worth the price point, check out this video. Thanks for watching.